Hi, I'm Erin St. Blaine for Adafruit, and today I'm doing a walkthrough video of Lady Ada's toolkit. This is a fantastic setup for beginners or for anyone whose kit just needs an upgrade. It's got a new soldering iron, some different holders, and lots of little components and uh, bits and bobs that will really upgrade your makerspace. Whether you're doing prototyping or repairs or just uh, trying to get to that tutorial, that really cool one you saw on the Adafruit Learning System, uh, this kit will really get you started and launch you to the next level so that you uh, can have a little less frustration and a little more success. Let's start with the soldering iron. A good soldering iron can truly make or break your kit. If you can't get a good solder joint, you're not gonna succeed with electronics. That's just the bottom line. So getting a nice one is uh, really worth the investment. This one's a cool one. It's got 60 watt adjustable iron um, with a temperature control box. So it, you can turn it up or down and get exactly the temperature you want to go with the solder you're using. It comes with a general purpose conical tip which is great for most stuff, but um, it is also compatible with the HACO tips. So if you want to swap it out with a different tip, uh, that's really easy to do. It also comes with this very cool solder on iron stand. It's nice and heavy and it has a little sponge in there already. Um, so you can set it down and that's going to keep you from burning your table. It was a long time before I got myself one of these and I'm telling you, it's a game changer. And next up is my very favorite tool in the world. This is a pair of flush cutters. If you don't have any of these, if you don't know how great they are, um, it's time to get some. As you can maybe see on my wall back here, I have maybe three pairs in this office. One in my tool bag, one in my shop, um, one in my craft room. You know, I, I think I even have one in the kitchen. <laughs> they uh, are just wonderful for cutting really close to little corners um, or cutting just, you know, anything tight that you need to cut. And they're very accurate. Um, I love these things. So definitely worth, uh, worth getting yourself a pair. Another absolutely essential tool for any soldering kit is a good pair of wire strippers. Now, if you're still using those ones that you found in your grandpa's garage in uh, 1962, you know, those are going to last you for the rest of your life, but you might have success with a new sharp pair. I like these a lot because when you squeeze them all the way, each of the holes is uh, already measured and lined up. So you can uh, get the correct gauge wire into your hole and there's no accidental cutting like the ones where you have an adjusting screw. Um, I like these a lot and uh, I like to have multiple pairs of these so that if I take them out on site or something like that, um, I've always got a pair of wire strippers. Next up, we have our solder sucker. So this thing is pretty useful if you ever mess anything up or don't get it perfect on the first try. Um, if you get extra solder someplace it doesn't need to be, you can just press on this cool little plunger, place your tip down where it needs to go and press the button and it'll suck the solder right out of your project, leaving it neat and clean for a second try. Next, I'll show you the PCB holder. Now, this is one of those things that doesn't seem essential on your workstation. So I went for years without having anything like this. But now that I have one, I'm really excited about it. it uh, it's going to make my life so much easier. Here's how it works. You, uh, you can slot a board, a circuit board, or a microcontroller or whatever into these little slots here on the, on the top. And it's got a spring-loaded action, so it's pretty easy to get the board in and out. And then everything's adjustable. So these little knobs will open up and you can slide these up and down. And, um, you know, it works, works really well for small microcontrollers or big ones just to hold it really still so that you can solder and get the exact right spot <laughs> with, your, uh, with your work. Next up is our multimeter. So this is a really important thing to have in your kit. Uh, it allows you to sort of peek inside your project and see what's going on for troubleshooting or figuring out how many amps or volts you're drawing. Um, it comes with a couple little probes and a nine volt battery. The nine volt battery uh, goes inside, but it's a little tricky to figure out. You gotta take this blue plastic case off first and then take these two bottom screws out and then the whole thing comes apart and you can put the battery in. You wanna plug the black wire into the G hole and the red wire into this hole if you're measuring volts or continuity and one of these two holes if you're measuring amps. The most unique part of this kit is the parts kit. So inside here, you got a lot of different little components. Uh, there's a solderless breadboard, which is a very cool piece of equipment. It comes with some little red and green LEDs. 
We also got um, some resistors, transistors, and uh, some switches and buttons. Basically a lot of little bits that uh, you're following your Adafruit tutorial and it suddenly you realize, oh my gosh, I need a 100 ohm resistor. Um, now you have one in the drawer. So you don't have to stop your project. Because I, I don't know about you, but all the DIY electronic stores in my neighborhood have closed. And I don't want to wait two days in order to continue my project. So having a little kit like this on hand is is really clutch when it comes to uh, getting your projects done on time with as little frustration as possible. My favorite thing in the parts kit is this little solderless breadboard. If you know what these are, you know how cool they are. <laughs> if you've never used one, um, you're in for a treat. It's actually a lot of fun. They are for prototyping. And all these little holes are connected inside. And then the holes along the edges are all connected to each other. So basically, as you connect one hole to another with these little jumper wires, you can make a temporary electrical connection in order to test your circuit and make sure everything is going to work. Right here, I'm going to do a quick little test with one of these LEDs and see if we can get it to light up using, uh, using the solderless breadboard. A look at that. So that's my walkthrough of Lady Ada's toolkit. The whole thing is $100, so it's a really good deal for all the stuff that you're getting. And it'll really level up your game uh, and level up your workspace. And uh, after you get your tools, remember to check out the Adafruit Learning System for all kinds of projects and fun things to make with your new stuff. If you like this video, remember to subscribe for more fun tutorials and, uh, and intros, and uh, we will see you next time. Learn.adafruit.com